So from tomorrow, South Africans will be able to relive the nostalgia behind the 1980s TV series Balada Fere Enkeling as it comes to big screens. The story, of course, still centers around a journalist who reveals the truth behind the disappearance of a writer. And joining us today are the stars of the film, Donnelly Roberts and Armand Okamp, as well as director Quentin Kroch. But before we chat to them about the film, let's take a sneak peek at what you can expect. The Ruisel, where Jacques Reinhardt on trans befind verdiep. Volgens die politie is daar geen spoor van Reinhardt in Johannesburg nie. Sy cellfoon was daar nie dalk een luidraad. Sy laaste SMS was aan Lena Oukamp en Jan Paul Otto. Hy het net gesê, vriende van altyd. Hoi waarheid, Lena. Feit is ek het baie meer opgekrap as wat jy bereid was om te sê. I'm sure that has brought back a lot of memories for a lot of people out there. And the man responsible for adapting the TV series to the film is, of course, you, Quinton. I mean, what a responsibility to try and kind of take people back to those days. How, how did you find the challenge and what can fans of the TV series expect? Well, it was very much a team effort. Um, I didn't do it alone, obviously. Um, a big influence, obviously, is Leon van Nierop, the actual writer of the old series. Did the screenplay as well, Donnie Bester, the producer. Many people involved mm. in, in adapting the series from the old TV version to the film version. Yeah. Um, one of the biggest challenges was actually just trying to condense everything and make it nice and compact and powerful in a short filmic format. Uh, so we spent a lot of time on the script, um, refining it, you know, getting it to the best place possible before we start shooting. And then also casting was quite a challenge because the characters were so iconic in the old series. Yeah. Um, you know, everyone had high expectations and I think we had a great um, ensemble cast uh, from the main leads right down to the supporting characters. Yeah. Okay, cool. And Donnelly, you play the, the character of Karina Iman. So she's the, the, the journalist who works for a gossip magazine, right? And how did you go about preparing for your role? Especially, like, like I was saying to Quentin now, that you are representing a character that represents a lot of nostalgia for people. Absolutely. Firstly, it was an enormous privilege. Um, I think the most important thing for me as an actor was to completely understand the script and mm -hmm. as an actor be able to put all the pieces of the puzzle together so that I could take the viewers on that journey of putting the pieces of the pu puzzle yeah. together with me. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I mean, did you find yourself, I mean, uh, were you a fan of the show before before having uh, you being cast in this role? I was very young. <laughs> when <laughs> I was thinking, yes, well, where was I in the 1980s? We were all, all, very young. Young. <laughs> exactly, very young. Yeah. Everyone has a story to tell yeah. when you ask them about a lot of things. Yeah. yeah, for me, for me, it's, it's actually the, the, the theme song because I remember singing it when I was in SAR, like way back in university days. But like that's a, that's a story. Way for back. Day. Way <laughs> back when. But listen, I, I was saying to Armand earlier on, he just seems to always get the big jobs. Like you, you're everywhere, dude. Like. Oh, why <laughs> have you come <laughs> from? Let's talk about you. So you you playing the character of uh, uh, Jock Reinhardt Senior, right? Yeah. And uh, he's the writer in 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 the the. The, the series and of mm. course now in the film. Oh, what, what, what did you learn about your character, especially taking from what you knew about the series and how you then adapted it to making it kind of like your own, but also staying yeah, true to the I character? Think, I think that's what, exactly what you just said, like making it your own. Um, there was a massive expectation f because of the kind of acclaim that Gavin van der Berg got um, in the 80s. Mm. Um, so it was very important for me to not try to compete with what he did yeah. or, or try and live up to a certain expectation. I think it just boils down to the character that's written by Leon, staying true to that character and making sure that I then lend my own quality to that character. That's yeah. the only way I think one can succeed. Just kind of, you know, spending a lot of time with Leon and, and just turning to Quentin and making sure that, you know, we just stay true to the character that was yeah. written. It's, yeah. it's actually quite a full circle story for me because when I did my very first TV audition, Leon yeah. was the person that I interviewed oh, to do really? my very first TV audition okay. like, like five years ago. But uh, to close off the interview, I, I want to I ask you all the same question and, and you, give, you give us your, your own response. Looking at this, how important is it for us as South Africans to tell our own stories and to you know, stop glamorizing what's happening in Hollywood and take our stories and see them as important? I'll start with you first, Armand. If we tell our own stories, yeah there will be more heart in it, more honesty, more passion than trying to tell someone else's story. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think then it will but only succeed. Yeah. We recently had the privilege of seeing the film for the first time, myself yeah. and Armand, at the Johannesburg premiere of Ballade of Enkeling, and I walked out of the cinema absolutely overwhelmed and 
so proud to have been part of the team that put this film and this, this project together. And I truly believe that we have such talented people in South Africa that we don't need to glamorize any other part of the world. Yeah, we, yeah. we have everything right here in South Africa to make the most amazing project True. and film. True. Quentin? Yeah, I feel like uh, we were chatting earlier about the same thing, and I feel like we've only started touching the tip of the iceberg in terms of the amount of stories we can tell. Yeah. I think we've hardly begun to scratch the surface. There's so much still for us to tell in terms of South African stories, and like Armand says, it can only be successful if it really comes from the heart. Yeah. And I think really that every South African filmmaker should strive to, to just tell a South African story. Yeah. And I think more often than not, what comes from the heart usually touches the heart. In fact, uh, one of my favorite people out there, Boer Bosch, uh, went to go watch Ballada for the Inkling at the premiere. And he had a very, very moving reaction. Take a look at this. I got a little up aisle now, Ballada for the Inkling. It was super boy. I woke up like this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that's, that's what your work does, you know? <laughs> People now wake up like this with all these emotional reactions. So I think you at home now have one more reason to support our local South African film industry. So if you're looking for some fantastic entertainment this weekend, go check out Balada for the Inkling in cinemas from tomorrow.